Alrighty guys, welcome back. Um, so I've gone ahead and crafted the stuff needed for the jet turbine. Let's go ahead and do this. So we needed a, um, let's see here, I'm gonna separate them out. Let's put him here. So it's gonna be a three by four by three structure. So that should be our base. Let's see here. I'm not, what I'm not, what I don't quite remember is exactly how much power, oh. Oh, I have to, wait, what? Oh, hold left, okay, shift uh, to break, okay, right, that's, that's to prevent you from accidentally uh, breaking your multi-block machines, okay, that's good to know. So now we place the intake here on the front, and bam, look at that, yes, <laughs> we got ourselves our badass jet turbine. Alrighty, now all it needs is some fuel, so let's go ahead and dump this guy into here. And see, there he goes. Current power per second, internal power, fuel level. Oh, okay, if I remember correctly, like, um, it's gonna start, see like the RPM, sir? It starts to like charge up. And the faster it goes, the, um, I believe the more power it generates and the more fuel efficient it gets. So it kind of burns through a lot of fuel to kind of start up. But once it's going, uh, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> So let's see here, let's give it a little bit more uh, more fuel here. Because it's probably going to need a lot. But uh, alright, there it goes, 3000 power already. So what we're going to do now is um, I need to route that power, at least for now, back into the wall of power. <laughs> um, at least until I can figure out what I need to, uh, to make these things, the Mark IVs. I have no idea what that uh, that requires. Um, I think from what I might, what I've heard from a friend is I think you need this, the resin handling. So that's, that's what I'm going to do, uh, next. But for now, let's go ahead and, um, I, you know, I don't have enough Mark threes. Let's go ahead and do that. I believe that. Yeah, I should have enough for like, let's get four of them kind of <laughs> ate up a lot of our resources, but it's fine. It's going to be totally worth it. Um, Let's see here, let's throw this guy. Um, you know what, do I have any power blocks? Yeah, what we'll do is this, watch. We're gonna set up some power blocks here. That way that's gonna, or it should drain. Yeah, there it goes. Look at that, look how it filled up. So we're gonna send these guys over there and then the power is gonna be routed. Um, I guess, you know what, let's go a little bit higher kind of route it above everything else. So this guy is gonna go here. It's gonna send power off that way. Let's get on over this way. Now watch, if you open up the hollow base, it kind of makes it easier to see up to where the line gets because it, it just kind of stops there. So that should be right here. Okay, so yeah, that's about as far as it gets there. Set up the next one, get out of the hollow base, and there we go. All right, so now we just got to line this guy up again and send it over here and then down into the wall of power. So here we go. There we go, and then the final one, we get it kind of over here, we're like kind of in the middle of the wall. Yeah, that should be good. So let's get it. Gotta set up your block so you can place it properly. So let's see here, it's there, and we're gonna set it on the wall, and down. Perfect. So now, once the wall of power starts getting kind of drained, this thing is going to keep it um, not necessarily fully charged, but it's definitely going give it, to give it a good boost. Uh, so let's go ahead and, you know what, let's finish this guy up. Uh, where's the resin? I'm just going to throw the rest of the resin in there because I want it to finish. 
that sh this should ju be just about enough to uh, to finish this. So let's see here. And look like when you do have power, look how fast it goes. So like I could, in theory, if you have enough power, you can really breeze through the uh, through all the uh, the research and stuff. It's just that it it, it takes a lot of power. <laughs> Um, so let's see how this guy's doing. Let's see how, how fast the energy and stuff is being transferred. Because I don't know how the purple ones keep up with it, uh, with stuff. Since I haven't really used them too much. Um, hmm, I wonder if this hurts me. Okay, no, I'm good. This... Oh, why did it just stop? Hmm. Oh, because it's reaching maximum internal power. Okay, then. Um, hmm. That means probably its fuel efficiency goes down. Yeah, that's not good. So you always want to keep it um, at maximum. It doesn't show an efficiency number, though. You know, I'll, I'll check that out just to, uh, to be able to give you guys uh, proper information. So let me go ahead and pause it, and I will uh, I'll look it up and and, and tell, let you guys know proper. Alrighty, guys. So yeah, um, it's kind of there's really not a whole lot of information, honestly, on the net about this. Um, at least not that I could find. But from what I've been able to deduce, <clears throat> is basically the the burn time is uh, appears to be fixed. Um, however, the power per second. Uh, is dependent on oh it went away there. The power per second is dependent on your RPMs. So the faster, so yeah, basically the faster it's spinning, uh, the more fuel efficient it's gonna be. Uh, so right now it's kind of being capped out. Like you'll see the internal power is at max. Uh, this guy's not really being able to drain the battery now because the um, the wall of power is. Uh, is basically full right now it's it's back up to maximum capacity so it's really uh, it's not really putting a load on the engine so right now it's burning very very inefficiently uh, so in fact I should probably actually let's see here let's, yeah I took out the uh, the remaining fuel because right now it's just gonna burn through it uh, very inefficiently oh, there's a little waspy um, so Anyways, in the meantime, uh, this should have finished. Yes, all right, cool. The resin handling is done. Let's see what that gave us. Let's see if we unlocked anything new. Okay, it seems to be have been no uh, new um, research projects unlocked, but let's see if we got something here. Um, I believe we were already at 38 things to craft. Ooh, okay, no, definitely not. Uh, laser resin ablator uh, uses large amounts of energy to ablate the surface of hardened resin, allowing it to be liquefied and then refined. Huh. Laser resin liquefier uh, uses large amounts of energy to access to a yeah access the soft core of a hardened resin block once it's been ablated, attached to a storage hopper. Hmm. Uh, liquid resin refiner it com uh, converts liquid resin into the extremely useful refined liquid resin. Interesting. Alrighty. And you know what? Let's see if. Nope, still unknown material. Damn it. Alright. Um, hmm. Well, let's go ahead and get these guys then. Let's just purchase all, all three of these things because we're definitely going to pro probably need it. So that's about 20 research points there. Um, and you know what? Another thing I gotta look up is if this game, uh, if it gives you enough research points to actually unlock all the stuff in it, or if it does something kind of like, uh, like Ark Survival Evolved, where you kind of have to pick and choose what things you unlock, which honestly I don't really like that system all that much, uh, so hopefully that won't be the case. Uh, but let's see here, Crafts Crystal Fiber Mesh. Hmm, that's, uh, I don't even know what that is, but I guess we'll get it because that seems like a construction component. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. <clears throat> uh, no, okay, so I, I still gotta mess around with all these other things that we unlocked previously. Um, so we'll definitely be getting to that. Uh, what's this? Uh, auto Upgrader. Upgrades existing conveyor lines to a higher tier. Requires power and attached storage hopper containing new conveyors. Okay, see hand for, handbook for restrictions. 
that's kind of cool. Uh, that would allow you to, uh, I guess I, that's probably one of the things I should have unlocked earlier. Would have made it easier to uh, upgrade the uh, the basic conveyors to the standard conveyors. Um, I'm still not sure if you can upgrade the standard conveyors to the pipes. Uh, but maybe, maybe that would be cool. We'll definitely check that out. Um, and alright, so there's nothing else new here. Uh, and there was no new projects, at least as far as I can tell. So alrighty, uh, what we gotta do then is build uh, these resin liquefiers, bladers, and all that stuff. So let's see here. Okay, this is gonna start taking some of the crystals and stuff. That's definitely gonna make things a little bit harder because these crystals are kind of rare. Um, and honestly, I don't even know if I found sapphire yet. So that, I'm not sure what level that would be at. And, uh, okay, so these things all take sapphire? Huh, they all have the same construction components. That's kind of weird and interesting, but all right. Um, so we're gonna need at least three sapphires. Uh, and these two things, this, is, this shouldn't be a problem. Um, hmm. All righty then. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do is, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and probably do some spelunking, uh, find, try and find some sapphires, and let me just double check I don't have any here. I don't think I do, but oh, look at that, I do, I have a single one, so yeah, I gotta go get some more, definitely. We got thir okay, 13 rubies, one sapphire, and three diamond, so uh, I don't have a whole lot of the crystals. Um, Alrighty guys, I will pause it here, uh, and I will probably be back, hopefully with some more uh, crystals and emeralds and stuff like that, and we can continue onward with the, uh, with the awesomeness. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Alrighty guys, I... <laughs> Either I'm tripping out or I just saw a really, really big freaking monster thing just die. Like I was just off doing something else. I hear a message like the the computer voice says, you know, base under attack. I look over and I just see in the last second something, this really giant thing just kind of like die. So I looked at this thing and there's a couple of, oh, now I'm getting the progression me message. But here it says 16 mobs, two heavies. I think that large thing might have been one of the heavies so i'm just gonna sit here and see what comes um yeah <laughs> that was kind of interesting so um yeah let's just sit here and oh my god look at it no way <laughs> look at that freaking thing man i've never seen that thing before Oh, okay, so that's like a heavy then. Oh my god. Look at that son of a bitch, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We... Hmm. Okay, yeah, he's, he's doing damage there. Okay. How... Hmm, he's certainly a tough, okay, there he goes. Certainly a tough cookie, huh? We're definitely gonna have to get, damn, because now with the, de j the jet turbine, we're starting to get more percentage. Like we're at 1,500. Um, so, yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to get uh, a lot <laughs> more turrets, uh, more defenses, more stuff. So let's go ahead and, um, it's probably one more on the way, I think, actually. Yeah. So he's, he's gonna be here any moment now. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see, let's get, uh, let's get Arthur charged up. Make sure, yeah, there he goes, juicing up. Um, I wonder if there's any, like, gun upgrades I can get later on. Um, that would definitely be cool. But, let's see here, where the hell is this damn thing? He seems to be very slow. Oh god, there he is. Look, and the freaking the spider bot is, um, is already wailing at him. wonder if it'll kill him. Look at that son of a bitch, man. 
it's like big fucking mama B. There we go. It's dead. Alrighty, cool, 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 cool. Threat averted. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> That's all I really wanted to show you guys. I'm still working on uh, on researching some more stuff. I'm currently working on the uh, the research for uh, the cryogenics. So let me, if anything, I'll just show you where I'm at, and, uh, and then I'll I'll just pause it until it finishes in the in the next little bit here. Ooh. Alrighty, I can't get up. There we go. Let's see here, uh, cryogenics research. Yeah, okay. So we don't have that much left to do. Seventeen nine twenty. That's not too bad. Um, so already, guys. I will see you guys uh, probably once uh, when this is finished. So uh, hang around. Be back in a sec. All right, guys. Welcome back. So I've just finished the cryogenic research. So let's see what we get. Let's see here. Thirty-three recipes. I don't remember how much I had left, but there should be hopefully some new stuff in here. Okay, there seems to be nothing new here. That's interesting. There's got to be some kind of new machines, though. So let's have a look around here. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything new. There's got to be some. Uh, oh, look at this. Cryo Hopper. Uh, stores up to 50 resources. Uses power to keep stored items frozen. This can vastly extend the length of ruined organic parts. Huh, okay. Uh, and then the organic reassembler. Feed 10 ruined organic uh, parts to this and receive a single recombined organic component. All right, that's cool. Um, so I guess that should allow me to recycle this stuff, the spoiled or, uh, organic remains. Um, and these are just like ruined items. So, hold on a sec. So this thing, it's then the length of ruined. Or, so these things degrade, I guess. I was not really aware of that because I've been picking up a lot of these ruined things, but I don't think they've been degrading here in the chest. Hmm, I could be wrong, but uh, okay. So we'll, we'll definitely uh, check that out. So let's see what the. <clears throat> sorry. Let's see what this guy needs. This guy needs. Uh, crystal deposit and just uh, regular storage and here we needed the robot arm so let's see here what was the robot arm he was it's gotta be around here somewhere probably in the uh, conveyor section hmm. no robot arm okay the um yeah the organization of this stuff is a little weird sometimes sometimes it can be hard to uh to find certain stuff uh look at this hard resin detector huh provides an early warning report on nearby growing hardened resin clusters that's interesting i did not know that uh i don't know when i unlocked that but all right that's cool um hmm we gotta be able to make this thing somehow. Where was it? Alrighty, you know what? I will pause, I will figure this out, and I will be right back with you guys. Stick around. Alright, there it is. Yeah, I had to buy it in the... Uh, <laughs> I forgot to research it here, so there we go. Alrighty, now it should show up somewhere. Where is this guy? I'm guessing it's gonna be here, because this is like the automation tab. Um, there it is. Cool. So he needs servo, servo motors and lightweight machine parts. So okay, let's go ahead and make some of this real quick. Let's just make a bunch of servos. And I think we have the um, what it was it the tin plates we needed. So let's grab some tin plates here. We got plenty. Just make a bit of room here. There we go. We're starting to run out of inventory space. So that's going to make things a little bit more challenging. Um, let's just make a bunch of these guys. Oh, there goes the alarm. So, uh, hold on, what's my threat at? It's uh, 1,400. All right, we're probably going to get a couple more of those heavies. 
Um, that was a pretty crazy thing, wasn't it? <laughs> um, but anyways, let's uh, let's let's get this freaking thing here and and see what we if what we can do with this cryogenic stuff. Let's make a couple actually. Uh, so let's see here. The we have to buy it from here as well. Starting to run low on research points. Um, oh no, it wasn't here. It was already here. So the cryo hopper. I guess. Um, I guess we should suck up items with this thing, maybe. But I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna get this thing first. Um, why is it showing up as zero if I already got one? Or did I build one? I think I built a couple, didn't I? Oh, I don't have any freaking space in my inventory. Okay, let's um, let's put this guy away. No, not there, but in the other chest here. Let's just make some room. I hope I didn't waste those resources. No, it didn't. Cool. Alrighty. Now we should be good. Boom. So now let's um, let's get some of these guys sit down now. So let's see here. Let's try and put this thing next to the wall of power, or if anything, just directly on it for now, um, just for the sake of ease. So we'll stick that there, and now we gotta stick some hoppers onto it. So let's add, uh, let's just put one like here and here. And now let's get these guys, let's see if this works. So we'll stick it in there, and uh, looking in Tatch Hopper for Ruined. Okay, so it's all just Ruined stuff. What about the spoiled goods here? Can this not be used for anything? That would be disappointing. Hmm. Let's try... Put that away and just grab, like, say, ruined stuff here. Okay, so now it's doing something. Restructuring, recombined organic matter. Uh, 300 seconds left. Really? Okay. Uh, that certainly takes a while. Oh, look at that. It's got a little hologram of like a insect above it. That's cool. Uh, has no interface, so nothing opens up when I press E. Um, and all right, so it took 10 of them and it's going to process it. I guess this is where we get, uh, where was it? Or somewhere here, this stuff here. I guess that's what this stuff is, the recombined organic matter. To, uh, to get all the pristine stuff. So, all right, I think the most important thing I'm gonna be using that for then is um, these two. Like, I've got a bunch of this other stuff, but I've only gotten one of these, perfect faceted eye, and I have yet to get a single massive faceted eye. So I'm not sure, I, I'm guessing those are either really, really rare, or they'll only drop from like, I guess, heavies or bosses. Um, and damn, man, if that was a heavy, I really want to know what the freaking boss is. <laughs> That's probably going to be a lot crazier. So, um, who knows? It's going to be a lot of fun, though. So, alrighty, guys, I will pause it here and... Oh, I fell down into a hole. I will pause it here and I will see you guys in a bit with more goodness. Thank you guys for watching and Odra out.